let's model a 3d pipe with the help of 3d sketch and swift feature so select new now here i am going to metric because i want to choose a standard mil dot ipt in millimeter create okay now i am going to choose directly 3d sketch first i am going to create a 3d sketch then we will apply other feature let's click here this home button so isometric view active now activate line tool now see make sure this bottom ortho mode open so that while we are moving it will show us directions okay so let's start from here this point so let's uh, move something like uh, 50 see the uh, now the center point also move from here to here now you will see this green green line is y axis blue line is z axis and green line is x axis so you can move along with this line now simply let's move cursor over green line means y axis see it's move now blue line let's move negative blue line means see this is going to move from here to here similarly just follow this path even though you can select this uh, plane let's say this one now i am going to move here now again i am going to select this plane now you can't move here but i can move this plane okay now again active ortho now i am going to move down side right click exit now let's rotate and see this is how we created now let's create some important constraint let's say collinear so i am going to select this line and this line this line in one line right click okay equal i am going to select this one this one fine cancel now let let me define dimensions fifty that's fine again I'm going to define this one fifty let's say this one fifty five sixty fine right click okay and here let's say equal i'm going to define these two lines equal okay this already defined equal i'm going to select these two lines okay this is also defined now at uh, cancel and here select this constraint show all constraint now almost all constraints are visible equal to this one and this one okay now let me show origin point visible coincident let's say this point and this point look this seems black means fully defined let's add bend 5 mm let's say 10 and i am going to select these two edges now let's change 15 these two edges 20 okay let's keep 10 cancel see now it seems fully defined so simply exit choose finish now i have to use swift feature and create 3d pipe but before that we need one profile so i am going to keep here normal to curve at point select this point see and line see the sketch plane is created on this now select the plane work plane 
create a sketch circle just move circle at point and you will see green means it is going to fix perfectly now let's say 10 enter let me say right click ok choose Twelve. Finish sketch. Now activate Swift feature. Now here profile by default selected in input geometry. Now you have to choose path. So simply choose this path. Now the path is selected. Angle here zero. Now behavior. This is first option follow path. Simply it is going to follow the path. There are two more options but this is not going to work with we have to choose some uh, rail or something so I am going to choose first one we don't need taper even taper option available oh, sometime like uh, 0 0.5 you will see these options and these options now output you can name this pipe say ok see right click on plane and you can uncheck visibility so that we can hide now let's do one thing we will use shell feature now select this face and end face see here I am going to choose the inside one I want to make inside remove faces so these two faces we selected automatic face change thickness 1 millimeter say ok see now let's change see this is how we create a simple 3d pipe with the help of 3d sketch and swift feature if you right click and uh, click show visibility and see you can see all the dimensions for this pipe you can simply drag and uh, place the all dimensions Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.